All right, guys, the stand is coming along pretty well. Um, got the bottom done this evening. Just taking my time, enjoying it. And then I will do the top probably tomorrow. I'll frame it out on the bottom, slide it up, and then screw it in. But uh, basically what I try to do with the stand on the bottom is just square as much as I can around the whole thing and try to get it nice and square. And if you can do that, it just keeps it from twisting. And uh, another thing that I try to do to keep it kind of on point is to plumb these legs up. And uh, I try to plumb them like that and like this, but the closer that you can get it to plumb, the better your stand will be, the less you'll have to fight it at the top. Uh, another thing to keep in mind when you're building a stand is that two by fours are not really two by fours, this measure right here. They're actually three and a half by one and a half. You see that? Three and a half by one and a half. In the same way with a two by six, these are five and a half by one and a half. So keep that in mind when you're building your stand. I'm just using two and a half inch exterior screws. These are really good wood screws. They're number nine. These are one and five eighths and they're number eights. They're a little bit smaller and not as long. Cause I mean, really when you're skinning the stand, you're not really worried too much about strength. Looking forward to getting this done. This is a flush trim bit. Whenever you skin your plywood, if you compensate to let it go like one eighth of an inch over, you can come back with a flush trim bit and just like really clean it up to where everything meets like perfectly. And one of my favorite bits, chamfer, C-H-A-M-F-E-R, chamfer bit. But basically what it does, if you see that edge, I go around the whole stand and just kind of put a 45 degree angle on it. I just, to me, it looks really nice. It's simple, it's easy to do. Here's a few that I did with it. It looks good in my opinion. I like the look of it. Maybe some other people might like to use like a round over bit. I think it works really well. Another thing that can help you get these legs on is to use clamps like this. And uh, you might want to use a little bit heavier duty than this but uh, clamp it up and then that way you don't have to fight it so much. All right, we got a top on it, but we still got to put the plywood and we still got to put the braces. So that's what I'm going to do today. We got braces. I think it looks pretty good, guys. What do you guys think? I don't know, I think it'll hold a 105 with no issues. I built a 150 one time. I tried to keep the center brace out of it and I used two by fours, all two by fours and 
I got about three months into it and I noticed that the middle of my stand, like right here, it just looked a little bit lower than everything else. And I was like, surely that's not like that, you know? And I measured like from right here down and then I measured from right there down and then I measured right here. It was sagging in the middle and I was like, you gotta be kidding me. So I drained the whole tank and basically uh, cut a stud in that was the exact same size as the ones right here, wedged it in there and it fixed the issue, filled the tank back up and everything was good. But once you get over like 100 gallons, I think it's just kind of smart to really go with like two by sixes. Uh, you can do it with two by fours. I just did a 75 gallon with two by fours with the middle open and I didn't have any problems with that. I also previously did this 105 without issues. But it seems like once you get up to like 150-ish, you start having issues if you don't use two by sixes or if you don't brace, put a center brace in the middle. That's crazy, it's actually dead on center. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thanks for stopping by. We're gonna catch you on the next video. Have a good day.